Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendaidukai and this video is the start of a workshop about the Search XT synthesizer. In this episode I'll give you an explanation of the header section and an overview of the whole synthesizer. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription. Then let's get started. This is how the Great Search XT Synthesizer version 1.2 is looking with the official Royal Search XT skin. The skin looks very shiny and beautiful. And since this video is just an overview, you will get a good impression, know where everything is and get a tiny idea what this synthesizer is capable of. Let's start and begin how you would discover every synthesizer by identifying the oscillator, the envelope, the filter section and then the whole bunch of features of the synthesizer. I'll explain the header section in a little more detail, but we'll fly over the remaining sections because there will be some extra videos about it. On the top of the left side are the oscillators in the middle, more rightish side are the ADSR envelopes, amplify and filter, and above it there are the filters. Mission accomplished. So now you know this is a synthesizer. Let us get to the details now. And here I show you Search XT divided in four sections. A header, scene controls, modulation and routing and the effect section. Keep in mind that Search XT has a lot of context or pop-up menus that you get with the right mouse click. And in all menus you have a question mark when clicking on it. You will be led on the manual website with a superb explanation of all functions. Starting with the header section on the left side, where is written A and B. These are called scenes. Every scene has all features you see on the whole Search XT. Let me call it one page. A and B are two pages of Search XT. So you have like a two-in-one synthesizer. Everything there is available twice, except the effect section. That brings me to the next part right of the scenes, the mode box. In this box you decide how scene A and B are separated, split or combined. There's another little box called split that is activated when you choose in the mode box split or channel split. Down below there is a box named poly where you choose how many voices your patch or preset is allowed to use. Important if you're a person that watches the CPU consumption. Then I come to the patch or preset browser. Let me just use the wording patch because the presets in search are called patches. Starting with the search class on the left side where you can search a patch by name. If you found some results, you can move down with the cursor keys, press enter, then you can play the patch. But you still can navigate further down, continuing testing with always activating the patch with the Enter key. And when you found your patch, just press Ctrl Enter for finally selecting it. You see then the patch name in the middle of the patch browser screen or display. If you use the left mouse click, you get the whole list of all patches that are installed with your installation. Search XT comes with over 2600 great patches from many people, like for example Roger Lynn. You can select from a category on the right side, then right of it third party patches, then your user patches, and on the right side under functions, there are some really useful functions like load an initial patch, saving a patch, loading from file, and so on. On the most right side, there's a heart where you can click on and then this patch is in your favorites. As soon as you have favorites, you get another favorite menu entry with a left mouse click on the right side of the patch browser. On the lower part of the patch browser display, you see on the left side the current category and on the far right the creator of the patch. And under the display, there are from left to right buttons to switch the category the patch in the history of your previously used patches and the save button for saving patches. Right side after the patch browser display there's a column called status where you find buttons with 
MPE, where you can switch on MPE for Search XT. Then Tune, where you can get another menu for setting up different tunings for your scales. And the Zoom offers you many options for the zoom of the GUI. Moving further to the right, there's the FX Bypass Character section. With the big buttons, you can switch off bypassing the effect section on the right side, then bypass the sense on the effect section, bypass the send and the global parts of the effect section, and bypass everything on the effect section. Below are three thin buttons with warm, neutral, and bright, where you can switch Search XT to a slightly different high frequency content. Keep in mind you always can press the right mouse button to get the question mark that leads you to the manual webpage for more information. This is also important when you now head over to the most right part of the header, the output. This is a volume meter where you can see the level of your signal. Right click on it for more options. And below the global volume, the output of Search XT synthesizer. Here as well, click right to find some more important functions. So this was the very detailed part about the header section. Now we fly over the other sections like the scene controls, modulation and routing and FX section. That will be discussed in detail in other videos. On the left side, there is the oscillator section where you can set up three oscillators for your current scene. Under the retrigger button, where you see the word classic, there you can choose one of many oscillator types. On the upper right of the oscillator, there's a setting for your pitch bend wheel and the general synth setting for your scene. Polyphonic, monophonic in different variations and latch to hold a pressed note. Below are oscillator drift to simulate the slightly unstable pitch of an analog synthesizer and the noise color left to right from pink to white noise. Then the scene octave pitch shifter, the fine tune pitch and the portamento slider to set up the slight amount between notes. Below there's a mixer for muting and unmuting, soloing, panning the oscillator in the middle, hard right and hard left. I'm sure you've noticed there are six faders. These are written under the faders itself, three volume faders for the three oscillators, then two ring mod combinations for oscillator 1 and 2, and 2 and 3, and the noise fader. The last fader on the right side is a gain for setting the volume for the whole oscillator section. Going up again, there is the oscillator FM routing when you are using FM, frequency modulation. Below the FM depth slider that controls the amount of the FM modulation. On the right side, there is the filter configuration with a superb view of the signal flow for each signal flow setting. Below is the filter section with two filter modules that contains a huge variety of filter types. Heat tracking, filter envelope generator, modulations amount, wave shaper and ADSR envelope generators for filter and amplifier. Heading further down to the modulation and routing section and starting over on the left side again. You find 8 macros that you can define yourself with every modulation combination you can think of. Uh, 18 predefined MIDI CC like velocity, release velocity, poly after touch or pressure, channel after touch and so on. Then 6 voice LFOs for polyphonic use and 6 scene LFOs, the S LFOs, for paraphonic use. Don't forget to right click on the buttons, sliders and faders. In the lower part of the modulation and routing sections you can set up the LFOs and the S LFOs with a lot envelopes, step sequencer, MSEX, sampler node and you can even enter formulas to create your own envelopes. And for every LFO and SLFO, there is on the lower right side an additional DAHDSR. If you want to know more about it, you can watch my series about envelope generators. Finally, we head over to the FX section. There you see again the separation of scene A and B that share a send channel like in your DAW and then are routed to the global FX channel. 
In each of those squares, you can insert an effect from a really huge collection of search effects and the huge collection of air window effects from Chris Johnson. And the most important button is the menu button on the bottom right with another big collection of useful configurations and functions like changing the zoom level, the skin leading you to some helpful web resources and a lot of search XT internal settings. So my friends, this is the quick overview of the Search XT synthesizer. I hope you liked it and want to see and hear more about it, because this synthesizer is a real treasure. Even if there are others out there, they do more glittering and bling bling. But I always want to remind that it isn't important how a synth is looking, it is important how you can use it and what sound you can produce with it. If you like to keep seeing videos like this, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Odo Zendaidokai, thanks for watching and paying attention. And if you have any other questions or feedback, or you've noticed anything unusual, let me know in the comments. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, see you then, ciao ciao!